Hi everybody, Dr. Kat Fleece from Central New Mexico Community College. This video G on the integumentary system is a brief survey of some of the sensory receptors that we find uh, distributed throughout the skin. So remember, sensory receptors are structures that sense the environment. In other words, they detect stimuli. And when they detect, detect these stimuli, they have the ability to convert that stimulus into an electrical signal. And that electrical signal will then travel up sensory neurons to the central nervous system. So via sensory neurons, this electrical signal, there's my lightning bolt, will then travel to the central nervous system. That's what sensory neurons do. So we have four major sensory neurons in our integumentary system. We've already learned about the root hair plexus and the Merkel discs. So I'm not going to re address these here. You can go to previous videos to uh, study them if you have um, missed these in previous videos. So we're going to just focus on the Meissner's corpuscle primarily and the Piscinian corpuscle. Corpuscle in, in anatomy refers to little body. If you listen to the word it has corpus in it as in corpse which means body. We often tend to think of corpse meaning a, a dead body, and often it is, but it really just means body. And corpusel means little body. So in the left, uh, or I will start with the top right picture. So remember here we have our hair follicle, which is innervated by the root hair plexus. That is then enlarged here. In the left lower bottom picture, we've already discussed that. Here we see lots of our piscinian corpuscles leading to a sensory neuron here that carries the information into the CNS. And tucked in the dermal papillae, we also have what we call Meissner's corpuscles. And then in the epidermis, we see our Merkel cells that form Merkel discs. So we can study all of these here with the next few slides. Here we see a, a, a slightly bigger image of these Piscinian corpuscles, which are also called lamellar corpuscles, and there's a reason for that. The reason for why Piscinian corpuscles are also called lamellar corpuscles is because lamellar means layered, or made up of layers. And when we take a look here, at the structure of these Piscinian corpuscles, then indeed we see these layers of cells, and we'll learn more about this when we get to the end of the nervous system this semester. So layers and layers and layers of cells surround the beginning of a sensory neuron. So you can just use your imagination and think of a sensory neuron leaving each one of these uh, Piscinian corpuscles. And remember, these sensory neurons are going to carry our electrical signal. Actually, let's just draw it in, in yellow as well. That electrical signal into the central nervous system. So all of these sensory neurons are going to carry the signal into the central nervous system. Now, which signal? Well, these are corpuscles that are located relatively deep in the dermis. So their surrounding here is the dermis, and even possibly all the way into the hypodermis. So because they sit so deep, they respond to a deep touch or deep vibrations. We've learned about Merkel discs before. Remember, Merkel discs are formed by a Merkel cell located in the epidermis that sits really close to the beginning of a sensory neuron. And again, um, we're going to see that the signal is going to travel towards the electrical signal, towards the central nervous system from this Merkel disk, the Merkel disk being this complex. <clears throat> now, since Merkel disks sit so close to the surface, 
of our integumentary system, clearly they're going to resp respond to relatively light touch rather than deep touch, which was the case for the Bacinian corpuscles. Our final sensory receptor in the integumentary system is called the Meissner's corpuscle, and here you see it in the diagram sitting close to the surface of the skin, maybe not as close as our um, Merkel discs, but still tucked in the dermal papillae. These, remember, in the deeper part of the dermis are our Pacinian corpuscles. So if we look at a microscope image and we try to remind ourselves of the, the skin layers we have right here, let me use a color that you guys can see, we have right here the epidermis, right? Epidermis, that then leads into the dermis. And remember that we refer to all of these bumps that the dermis makes in connection with the epidermis. We call those the dermal papillae. And tucked in these dermal papillae, we have lots of blood vessels, lots of little capillaries that help nourish the epidermis. But we also find these guys, these Meissner's corpuscles. And we don't find them in every dermal papilla, but here and there. And they have a very characteristic look to them under the microscope. To me, they look like they're a little made up of a little spiral inside of a little oval-shaped structure. Again, you need to use your imagination because it doesn't show on this, in, on this microscope picture, but arising from this Meissner corpuscle is going to be a sensory neuron that carries the electrical signal to the CNS. Because of its location, obviously, this is going to be a structure that, again, responds to relatively light touch. So this wraps up our discussion of the sensory receptors found in the integumentary system. The ones we learned about are the root hair plexus, the um, Merkel discs, and then we've added the Pacinian corpuscles and the Meissner's corpuscles.